Welcome to our quick start video for live learning here at UAGC. This video will take you through the steps of registering for live learning, as well as troubleshoot some of the common issues. Let's start by registering for your UAGC Zoom account, which is necessary to participate in live learning. So to start this process, make sure you use your UAGC student ID. Mine says faculty here, you will have student in place there. It's usually just your name with a dot in between the first and last name. You're gonna get a code sent to your email that you'll receive uh, and just plug that in here to verify your email address was correct. Um, put your name and you're gonna be asked to create a password and it has several criteria. Uh, that will pop up that you will see there. Um, so once you get a good, strong password, you'll be able to go to the next step. Uh, you'll probably want to personalize your Zoom account with a photo that will show when you log into Zoom. Uh, it, it's fairly easy to do there. Just click on that blank avatar, uh, find a photo, a headshot, um, in your computer and you can quickly add that there. So this is the first place that I noticed some students having issues. They don't know how to get to their email, their, their UAGC Outlook email. So what you wanna do is go to your student portal. Once you log in this highlighted section here, that gives you access to all of your Office 365 apps, including Outlook, which is your email. But you also have access to Word, PowerPoint, Excel, OneNote, and some other applications as well. So make sure you understand how to get to your, your Microsoft Word and all the other Office 365 apps you have access to through being a student here with us at UAGC. So now that we've got our Zoom account open, we're ready to sign up for live learning. I'm in the Gen 101 classroom and we have live learning right on the sidebar here. So let's click that. And then if we scroll down, we see a calendar where we can choose our section. I'm choosing this January 2nd session. Click the register link here. Okay, so we see the time of this meeting clearly stated. Let's look and see what happens if I put in a Gmail account instead of my UAGC account. So you notice here meeting is for authorized registrants only. So if you get that error, more than likely you did not use your UAGC account. So let's do that now. And yours will say student.uagc, mine says faculty. Once you get that entered, just click the catchula there and register and success. Now you'll also get an email to your, your um, Outlook account. Gonna go ahead and pull that over so you can see what it looks like. It's got our meeting time as well as a join meeting link and you're successfully registered. So we're now at another area where some students have ran into trouble. You've got your meeting link, you've got the email, you save the email and it comes time for you to join the meeting. You click the meeting link, you're in the room but nobody's there. Let's discuss time zones because generally that's the issue. You have signed up for your meeting and it's time to attend live learning. You go into the room and nobody's there. Often this is due to confusion around time zones. Time zones can be tricky. They are regions of the globe that observe the same standard time. Understanding them are key to making sure you join your sessions on time. Let's look at this meeting starting at 4 p.m. Pacific time. As you notice, 
This same meeting happens at 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, and 7 p.m. Eastern. This is the same meeting. Knowing your time zone is key. How do you find your time zone? Here's a time zone map that shows the different time zones and the states that correspond to that time zone. But probably the easiest way is just typing your city and state as well as time zone into your favorite browser. Your time zone will then pop up. Once you understand your time zone and enter in the correct time, you should be good to go with your live learning session. This concludes our video on the most common issues students face when it comes to live learning. If you still have challenges or issues, please contact your instructor. Thank you so much for your attention during this video.